Hope you're doing well. This morning I am down in West Bay in Dorset, capturing the sunrise. We've got some gorgeous pink light at the minute and I've just set up um, right by the shore and I am shooting at about a third of a second. Uh, I've got it on a continuous shoot. Uh, so when I press the shutter, it's taking a photo every third of a second. So when the waves come in, um, I'm starting to shoot and as they start to draw back you're starting to get that motion in the waves when they draw back um, and it adds a real bit of nice atmosphere to the image and um, we've got this gorgeous pink light at the minute and um, images are coming out really nice I'm just going to sit it out for another five minutes or so and wait for the light to come through even more because every time I look up at the sky we've got more and more pink coming through well every single time a bit chilly down here this morning but it's all good. I'm shooting at a third of a second. F4, ISO 100, just a hard stop to bring back the sky. No other filters needed to slow down the time. Um, it's about, the ambient light is nice, so I don't need to slow it down anymore. And everything on a shutter release, so that when the waves start to come in, like now, shoot seven or eight pictures with the motion in the waves and uh, there you go, have a look at this one. So West Bay is um, famous now, or these cliffs are, uh, because of a program called Broadchurch on ITV. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, it's been on, I think, I think it's had three seasons now. I've never watched it myself, but um, I, was sh I shot an image last year, about this time last year, and I had rolling fog pouring off the top of the cliffs. And I had a really nice rock in the foreground. And it was, wet so it added a lot of contrast to the image and um, I've been struggling to try and find anything similar to that image I wanted to try and make that image better if you like um, it was perfect pastely skies I'll pop it up on screen now so you guys can have a look and um, but I found a few rocks in the foreground here so I was thinking about setting up in front of one of these with a wide angle portrait mode Similar sort of shot as before, third of a second, fourth of a second, a bit of motion in the waves, and um, and see what you and see what we can get. So uh, yeah, here we go. Let's have a look. So I found this really nice couple of rocks um, in the foreground. It's almost like someone's put them there. And um, I've set up just behind it in a portrait orientation uh, with the cliffs in the background. And the light is magic right now. Look at that. It's insane. So I've set up a similar sort of shot, same sort of time. We are shooting at F11 this time, my preferred aperture. And um, I just find that F11 with this lens 
everything seems to be sharp. You set it on infinity or whatever you're focusing on. In this case, I'm focusing on the rocks, but the focus goes all the way through and still the cliffs are pin sharp as well, so it's fantastic. Similar sort of shot, I'm shooting at 0.7 of a second this time, so a little bit longer, F11 ISO 100. And I have a hard grat just pulling back the sky. And I've set the grad, if you look, just on the angle. And on the shot, that is actually coming, it's not on the horizon like they should be, but it's actually tilted just to the right, just to bring back the sea as well, because the sea is getting a bit blown out because the light is so bright, well, it's quite bright at the minute. Um, it just brings back the sea as well. So yeah, 0.7 of a second. Really nice image. Okay, so I got that image and it was really, really nice. The light is perfect and there's some really, really nice high cloud on the horizon as well. And well, it's high cloud throughout the whole of the sky. So as the sun is coming up, it's catching that and pink rays are being shot straight across the sky and it is, it is beautiful. And um, it's just one of those shots that you just know is gonna be awesome when you get it back to the Mac. Just pinky perfect skies and uh, ah, it's just perfect, I love it. So we're gonna go for another little walk. Two images there that are really nice. I really like that last one. I'm really starting to get into more portrait orientation shots and one by one squares and and that sort of look um, rather than landscape uh, orientation shots. Although I do love them, but I'm really starting to um, get into portrait style shots as well. So I had a bit of a palaver with my camera the last couple of weeks. Um, I had an error message flash up on my camera saying, um, error, turn off camera or turn back on or something like that. I don't know what it was, but anything that I tried to do after that wouldn't work. So. I took it back to Jessup's and was like, fix my camera, and then, um, please. And, uh, and they were like, yep, sure. And it was in warranty by a day. So I was so lucky. Um, and I've been borrowing one of Primrose's dad's uh, cameras. Luckily, he's just lent us the same camera um, that I have. So it's perfect, back to normal now. It's like shooting with mine. So thank you, Neil, for that. <laughs> means a lot, it means I can get out and keep shooting. So I'm just walking along now and there's been a landslip here um, not too long ago and it's brought some really nice big rocks down onto the beach and um, it makes for some really nice long exposure. Similar sort of shots, 0.5 of a second, 0.7 of a second. Hello, hello. Morning, that's all right. Hello. Hello. Look. <laughs> What's up, dude? Um, there's been a landslip just over here. And um, it's quite dangerous, actually, because the, the cliffs are very vertical, so they do slip every now and again. You get the old rock fall down, and it's, yeah, quite dangerous. But um, it's revealed these really nice rocks that are falling down onto the beach. And I was down here in the blimmin' wind the other week, and it was blowing a hooli and trying to get this image, and I got a really nice image. It was a one by one square, I did it in black and white. You may have seen it. And um, similar sort of image to the ones that I've been shooting today. And um, so I wanted to try and recreate that image again because these rocks are great. And um, the tide is starting to come in now, so it may make for a nice image again. And seeing as I'm here, I'm taking full advantage and seeing what we can get. Yeah. 
guys, I'm going to call it there. I've got three really nice images that I'm happy with this morning. I'm going to get back to the Mac, process them, and see what we got. It's been a really nice morning. The sky's been amazing. The light's been nice. It's just nice to be out and um, enjoying the sunrise. And I'm the only one taking photos, which is just amazing, really. It amazes me. So get out with your camera and enjoy it. And just get up like half an hour before you need to get up and get out and enjoy the sunrise because what you see is amazing. It's, it, is, it is awesome. So thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do consider it. It means a lot to me. Um, I love making videos for you guys. Give it a thumbs up, write a little comment for me and follow along on my, on my other social media. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. We'll